Hey, a uh, quick look into Patty Labs. Um, what I'm working on for the next version of Patty. Big thing um, is iPad support with a technology called OSC Open Sound Controls. I'm just showing you what we are going to do. Here is a interface for the iPad. Um, you see quick edit things. You can select sliders, um, increase, decrease, and you know things like rating. Under develop, there are sliders as you're used to an iPad. Colors, more sliders for hue, saturation, luminance, black and white sliders, tones, tone curve, highlights, um, and things like noise reduction, etc. So sliders on the iPad. Um, and what's going to happen is um, once everything is connected, so I'm going to connect here. Um, Patty reports we have the iPad. I can go here and I can move the temperature from my picture and nothing happens because I'm not in iPad, iTunes, um, Lightroom. But here you go. So there you go. So I move here and I can see it happening on Lightroom. Let me go to the extremes here so you can see something happening. There's a setting here. I can change uh, um, smaller increments and of course if I change in Lightroom with my mouse here my slider changes on the iPad as you can see. Uh, this works for all sliders of course as it did with MIDI same concept anything that changes you can see there's still a little bit of lag I'm still working on the timing a bit uh, this is essentially just an optimization problem the timing right but as I move whites here for instance you can see the, the whites on the picture now what's really cool about this if I go here we're going to have something called the iPad assignment where we can assign um, presets so you can see here you know stupidly named hello red filter orange filter you can see here hopefully hello red filter orange filter let's assign a fourth preset Okay, pick it here, um, and pick uh, black and white look three. Oh, there it is, black and white look three. I can give it a different name. You can say my black and white look, and hopefully you saw that this changes as I'm typing here in uh, Patty. So it's going to be full interface. If I delete this, I don't want this. I only have two, or maybe I want to have a bit of a separation. Uh, it's all boring. Let's see. Uh, sharpening. There you go. There is portrait sharpening. It's a little bit too long. I'm going to clean it up. And I see portrait sharp. And as you can see, that's what I have. All right. Okay. Now, this is obviously a stupid picture to do this, but I click this and I have portrait sharpening. Okay. Um, I can do. All the other adjustments as I'm used to on Patty. So here's a bit of, you know, I mean, again, stupid examples. Changing my saturation. Okay. Tones, details and effects, things like sharpening, noise reduction, post crop, can, um, post crop vignette. Here we go. Um, and so on. I'm still working on the profiles. It can change the process here, 10, 2012. Uh, and so on. So this is what I'm working on. It's taking a bit longer than I thought, but I thought it would give you a little bit of a preview of what's coming up in the next version for Patty.